This lesson we're going to be doing today is looking at a number and trying to figure out how to write it in scientific notation and then determine from that scientific notation how many significant figures it has. So I have a series of numbers uh, on the left uh, right here and I started writing two of them in significant notation uh, and also identified how many significant figures we have. So let me break down a little bit um, how I got these uh, numbers to become the scientific notation that I wrote as well as significant figures and then we'll work through problems um, together on how to do the rest of them and hopefully that will give you enough tools to be able to answer those questions on the worksheet. So to start off with we have 30,800. Um, with scientific notation as mentioned in class you only have a single digit number in the front with the decimal point and then uh, the rest of the numbers uh, based on which ones are significant are written after the decimal point. You always have a time sign with the power of, with the power of 10 and some sort of exponent. So in this case I have 30,800. Um, I know that I need to use that number 3 by itself and put a decimal so that's what I did. And then um, the next question was trying to figure out which of these zeros is significant, um, which need to be written in scientific notation. And you'll notice that this zero right here is in between two integers. And because of that, that makes that zero significant. Okay, so we have to include that in our scientific notation. So that's why that zero, that zero right here is this one right here. Um, the eight, of course, is an integer, and so we have to keep that. These trailing zeros, they are not important because they are going to be implied with this 10 times to the fourth, okay? So for that reason, we have three significant figures. I determine that by counting how many numbers I have here, including the zeros. So one, two, three, three significant figures. Now for this one over here, again, our first step is determining um, what number, what integer we're going to put in front. And so I look across and I notice that four is my first number. So four is the number I use. I then place a decimal point and then I determine what are my significant uh, figures. And uh, one eight is trailing behind and there is no zeros after that. So for that reason, 4.18 is significant. And I just wrote the exponent to be incorrect. So it looks like I had to move the decimal place three times in the negative direction. Um, so you have 4.18 times 10 to the negative third, not the negative second. Um, and you have three significant figures. Okay, so let's work on the next number together where we have 70,200,000. So first thing is, is we need to determine what our first integer is. And it looks like the first number is our number seven. All right. And now we need to work through with a lot of zeros, determining which ones are significant, which are, are not. So just like up here, you notice that there's a zero in between numbers. Yes. So because of that, that zero is significant. We need to include that. And then we have the two. All right, so it's between two non-zero numbers. And these rest of these zeros here that are following behind are not significant, all right? So in that case, you write 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10 to the 7th power. That means that we have three significant figures. All right, so let's try uh, the next one. So for the next one, um, we have, again, these what we call leading zeros. So we're not going to look at those quite yet until we see our first number uh, that will be our integer, and that is 2. So we place 2, and then our next number is 1. We notice here, again, we have a 0 between two integers, so that's going to be an important and significant number. And also this trailing 0 because it's after a decimal point. If you have something... Uh, a zero that is after a number that is a non-zero and after the decimal point it is considered significant and so for that reason we have one two three four two point one zero one zero to the negative fourth power and we have a total of five significant figures and I determine that just by counting this number 
All right, let's try this one. Again, the same story. These leading zeros, if they're um, after a decimal point, are not considered significant. Our first integer is going to be the number 3. But because these zeros are placed after the integer, the 3, and are behind the decimal point, they are considered significant, just like this one was considered significant, okay? And so in this case, it's to the negative 2. I have four significant figures. So let's try one more. Let's try something like 700.0. How does that work out? Um, and for this one, oh, point 0.1. And for this one here, these zeros, all three of them, are in fact in between two integers, even though it's more than one. So in this case, our scientific notation would look like this, times 10 to the, excuse me, positive second. Am I correct on that? Yes. Okay. Um, and you would have a total of five significant figures. So let me go through why this is. So we know from up here, trailing zeros don't matter. But because you have these two integers where these zeros are lying in between, these are then significant. Keep this in mind, this one is significant, again, just like this bottom one because it's between those two integers, both being one. However, this one is significant because it is after, uh, placed after the two, which is after the decimal. So be certain to write down some of those rules. You're going to notice that on your worksheet, uh, there are very many versions of it, and we're going to really need to know how to do this when we start doing our conversions. And that ends it.